Hi, I'm Lay with LayShidell.com, and I have a training here for you today. What I was going to introduce to you is how to create a subdomain for your uh, GoDaddy uh, domain name that you have established. Now, I realize that some people actually are using different providers, and the process will be basically the same. So I'm going to take you over to my screen. And we'll take a look here. Okay, so let me go over to GoDaddy. So I've logged in, and when I log into GoDaddy, this is the screen that it brings me to. And I'm going to go ahead and add a subdomain to this AskLay.net account. One thing I want to talk about, though, before we go any further. When you have domains, uh, sometimes you have them attached where whoever has authority to utilize the details with your uh, account, they control all the back end of everything. And on those domain names, you are not able to create a subdomain to use. For example, my last account you see here, subdomain, the com. This is associated to my uh, website and my website is uh, handled by WordPress because WordPress handles all of the back end to this particular domain name I am unable to assign successfully and use any subdomains to this account name and uh, that's because you just don't have the ability to manage the DNS because the DNS is under control by whoever you have that domain name assigned to. And so that's why I'm using this other account uh, instead. I attach some different things to this one. So you click on manage over here when on the particular domain name that you would like to add a subdomain to. We're going to wait a second for that screen to come up. Okay, and once we see the domain settings screen, we're just going to click on, and you want to make sure that's the correct uh, URL that you're wanting to work with, and just click on the Manage Connection. We're going to wait for another page to open here in just a moment. Okay, and once we have this page open, you'll see it added so that you can add your domain. Okay, the domain, which is set on the tab, is whatever you have set for the primary domain name. And I have mine attached to a YouTube uh, channel. But I can still have anything I want on a subdomain. So I click on the subdomain tab and then go to the bottom and you see this add subdomain forwarding. You click on that when the window opens. Uh, we'll create one here and I'm just going to show you how this works. So this is going to be a test. I'm going to call it as the subdomain. And I'm going to send this over to my website just so you can see how this is going to work. So I'm going to enter that URL. And you can preview that right here by clicking this little preview button. And you can see that it's going to take us over there. That's where it took me was to my website. So that's correct. That's what I want. So I know that this has been set correctly. You want to make sure that the 301 permanent is set. And you can do forward only or you can click on the down arrow and you can do forward with masking. I usually just forward mine. The masking just makes it so that when the person does click on it, they don't see where it's taking you initially. Then you just click on the add button here at the bottom. And then you want to be sure when it bounces back to this page, you must click save or you're not going to have that particular subdomain. And that's how easy it was to add. So what I'm going to do is uh, sometimes it takes a minute before it actually takes effect. But I'm going to come over here and see if we can take a look at that. Uh, or if it's ready yet. Sometimes it happens right away. See, it's saying that this site can cannot be reached yet. Well, in a couple of minutes, um, 
usually it's only about maybe five minutes at max. So it's not going to work for us yet for this test. But I assure you that this is going to work. So, oops, darn it. That's not what I wanted. Come back over to my OBS screen. Yes, that is what I wanted. So I just wanted to touch base with you again uh, here. That's basically the same process that you would find under any provider that is uh, housing your domain names. I hope you got some value from this. Thank you much for spending your time with me. I know you could be anywhere you chose to be, and I appreciate your spending your time with me. You have a really great day. Bye-bye.